Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So, Sagittarius Capricorn, August 17th to the 23rd. Take off. I hear take off. Something is taking off for you guys. Something is being, um, it's exploding at a massive rate. I hear victory. <laughs> I just heard victory on something. Um, so it, it almost seems like finally things are working in your favor. Um, the rough patches um, are clearing off. Um, there is a sense here of someone really... Okay. So if you... If you recently started a business or you've had a business for a while and it's kind of been slow um, and it starts to pick up, not if, when it starts to pick up, don't allow yourself to be worried with fear if you're going to be able to keep up. Um, a quick reminder, guys, these are general readings, so only take whatever applies. Dogs in the background, so if they start barking, I'll pause and then I'll continue. Because there is a sense here that um something is going to take off something is going to explode and there's almost like a i don't want to say so much of a fear but there is like a little worry here like am i going to be able to keep up with demands am i going to be able to cater to to this many clients or something of that sort um and still do like the other hundred things that i have to do so it's kind of like that energy that i'm picking up you're being told to just continue. You are on the right path. Um, there is somebody that is going to come into your life, um, whether it is that maybe you're not thinking about it at this moment in time, but there is almost like a needing an assistant to help you um, with, with the little things, things that you can delegate to other people. Um, and again, because you consider yourself a small business or whatever, you may not consider an assistant maybe full-time. Maybe you consider an assistant part-time and it's very specific, detailed things, right? Like going through the emails and sending, you know, setting up your schedule and stuff like that. Um, but there is a sense of like not, no need to worry because you are going to have that support. There's somebody that you're going to meet um, or somebody that is already in your energy that maybe you're not even aware that this is a skill of them and it's like they may have a full-time job or they may have a part-time job and they're looking for something part-time and you're like well I can pay this much or you know do you know anybody that is you know and they're like oh but I do that and you're like oh really like that type of energy so don't be worried about keeping up with the demands of your job or your business because you're going to be able to stay afloat. You're going to be able to stay above that. So it's not going to become overwhelming. The what could become overwhelming is the overthinking or the overanalyzing um, or getting yourself into a space where you think that you don't have the time or it really comes down to time. Excuse me, guys. Um what is this who the hell sorry uh someone from your past is trying to come in as they see you being successful and i really don't like this energy does not necessarily have to be somebody that you dealt with romantically this can be a past friend or you know a family member i want to just say a cousin i don't know why if you have cousins that are that shady, I feel sorry for you. Um, in that aspect, anyways. Um, family is supposed to be there to support each other, um, not just to try to get things out of you. Um, and I really say that, like, you know, from the heart. Um, I know a lot of people have, like, really, really bad experiences when it comes to family. Um, and it's heartbreaking, but um, there is this energy of somebody... Like seeing you making it, seeing you being financially stable and coming in to try to get a piece of that, even though they never supported what you did or they cut ties with you when they were financially secure and you were the one that needed the help. And it's like somebody else needs the help 
and they know that you have a good heart and they're trying to come and see what they can take from you. It is not your job to take care of this person financially. Do not lend them money because you're not going to see the money back. Now, if it comes out of your heart and you want to give them a couple hundreds, a couple thousands, whatever it is to you, release that money knowing that it's never coming back. Give it as a gift, but do not lend. There is a, 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 an energy here of not being, not lending money to this, whoever this person is. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be a cousin. Doesn't necessarily have to be a family member. It could be an old friend or something. But somebody sees you doing well financially and then comes in almost wanting a piece of what you have. So let's pull out three oracle cards. Now these can be confirmations to the reading, confirmation to something that didn't come out in the reading that you are inquiring about or simply your advice for this week. Warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. Intent and create with the high priest and mirror guardian. Take time to reflect. So you're definitely in this beautiful energy of intending and creating. You are st you're needing to stand fearlessly, especially when there is more clients, when there is more responsibility, when there is more coming in. You're going to be okay. The reflecting part of things comes in when this person from the past comes back and wants a piece of what it is that you have. It is time for you to reflect on life, um, on your situation and your connection with this person. And if you feel uh, like if they try to make you feel guilty or make it sound like you're obligated to help them, reflect as to why it is that you are allowing yourself to feel that way. We have the four of hearts, the six of hearts with the six of spades. So there, there's definitely a, a, a sense here of there, there is a growth, right? We have here with the four of hearts, a uh, butterfly. And within the butterfly, we have the, why do I have it upside down? I tend to do that a lot. It's not meant to be upside down. We have the eyes and then we have a hand, right? With the eye. So there, there are things that you're seeing clearly. There are things that you are not allowing any longer to hold you back. You're, you're, you're making connections within the things that have transpired with the things that are manifesting at this moment in time, how things are manifesting, knowing that you're ready for this new big step, knowing that you're ready for this. It, it is a challenge in itself because it is a lot more responsibility. You are doing a lot more, but it's extremely beautiful. My eyes keep on wanting, wanting to close down, guys. Um, I don't know why because I'm not physically sleepy, um, but my eyes kind of like just want to like okay, okay. I, I feel like you have to take a moment when all of this comes in and just kind of like take it in it's real like it's real 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 okay well guys that is all that i have for you for this week as always thank you for all the love and support thank you for liking sharing subscribing to the channel thank you to all of those that have been donating it is greatly appreciated and if you have not liked share or subscribe i encourage you to do so it helps with growing the channel getting the video out there for more people as well as keeping me accountable for personal reading so that information can be found down below in the description sending every single one of you love strength and blessing guys take care Mwah. love you all Bye bye